Hey guys, oh, welcome back to my channel. I didn't have enough time to share like the cute little $1 ornaments that I found, I believe at Family Dollar. So I wanted to share some of those with you. And I took like an hour and made two of the DIYs that I wanted to. And I just wanted to share that, sorry that hair is driving me crazy. I just wanted to share that not every time you do a DIY that it comes out right. But I, I was going to show you guys anyway. But first, I'm going to show you like the cute little ornaments that the kids picked out at Family Dollar. And they were all a dollar each. I really like, oh, is the lighting going to work? I really like the little trucks. I just think they're so cute. And my son picked out the little red one. The tree's a little bit functified because it's sitting in a box with a bunch of others. But it's just, it's cute. It's a dollar. And he also picked out this dinosaur one. Now, I know, is it? I think it's Walmart. Has like glass ones. And they're just a couple dollars. And we have some of those too. And they're super cute. But it's just a little plastic one. And the kids like it because they can actually mess with it on the tree. And I'm not like yelling at them to leave it alone. Because I'm scared they're going to break it. And my daughter also picked out this little unicorn one. Oh, I got glitter everywhere, but it's just, it's cute, it's simple, and it's plastic. And then I picked out this one. They had a couple different ones, but I really like this one. It's got little baby Jesus in his manger, and then it's got, I think it's a lamb. I just thought it's super cute. I don't know what this is made out of, clay or something. It's not plastic. Super cute though. It is lightweight, so it's not heavy. And this isn't an ornament, but this was a dollar too. But you could always glue something on the back and hang it up, but it was a dollar. But I just think these are cute. And you could or just sit them somewhere, but you can turn these into ornaments. They're not that heavy either. And then my kids picked out these little puppy dog ones. I just think these are adorable as well. And then here's the other little, is it like the Taco Bell dog? <laughs> but it's super cute. And like I said, they were only, all of these are a dollar. These are some of my favorites right here. I got this little Santa. It's so bright, I don't know if it's going to pick up. It's got this little Santa, and I love his little legs. This was a dollar. This is a little heavier. Super cute, though. And then I also got this... Oh, they're tangled up. I also got this glittery red sleigh with a little tree. I love this. Like I said, for a dollar, you can't beat it. And then I found these ones. They're like a 10, I don't know, but super cute. The little, the bow's a little messed up, but how cute is that with the snowman? And then this one, <clears throat> sorry guys, I'm losing my voice. And then this one says joy. And it's a snowflake. I absolutely love these. I think they're so cute. And the last little ornament that I found for a dollar is this cute little sled. Dollar Tree also has some cute sleds too. It's got little bells on it. I absolutely love that. All right, so <clears throat> the last two things that I wanted to share with you guys was the two DIYs I was talking about in my Dollar Tree haul. I've seen so many people make these uh, placemat like uh, pillows, so I wanted to make my own. It goes this way. I had an old pillow and I just took the stuffing out of it and I just glued it together. I will say I did mess up right here. I put too much glue and it came out, but you're not going to see that wherever I'm where bleh, wherever I'm putting it. You won't see that. I think this is so cute. I love this. 
And the last thing that I made and wanted to show you guys was that candy cane um, reef thing. The metal one. Oh, I got a hair in my eyeball. Um, I wanted to use up some of the Dollar Tree ribbon that I bought. I do buy a lot of Dollar Tree ribbon, but I actually don't like using it. I would rather buy ribbon from just a higher quality of ribbon. It doesn't really matter where I buy it from. I just, I like a higher quality. And I like more like footage or yardage. I don't know what it's called, but I'd rather buy more than having to pay a bunch and it all be separated. But I just thought I would take the couple little rolls that I had and I would just put them all on this and see what it come out as. These were the ones that I just bought. I've had the, this red since last year. I just bought these and I kind of just put them together. And this was like um, a half of a roll that was in my little um, ribbon box. I decided to put the snowman snowman I decided to put Santa on it but like you can't even really tell it's a candy cane I don't like this but I think what will help me like this if I go buy another one of those metal candy canes and like make this into a heart and try and match up the collars just the same but then by that time I'm gonna have one two three four five six seven eight eight dollars in it so I'll have like 16 to 20 bucks in it total for 20 bucks I could have just bought a really nice wreath of whatever I wanted you can get really nice wreaths at Walmart for like 10 bucks and if you're willing to spend 20 to 30 bucks you can get a really nice wreaths so I just feel like for 20 bucks I should have just bought one because I don't like it the way that it is I I've got to do something it just it's too full. I, I don't know. I just don't like it. But I just wanted to share with you guys, like, not all DIYs come out and they look great. It usually takes a person a little bit of trial and error before they can make something look good. So if you're thinking about making something, just make it. If it doesn't look good, tear it apart and redo it. Um... Even if I don't change this, as it took me a good while to do all this ribbon. So I probably will use it. Like I said, let me know in the comments below. Do you think it would look better if I went and made it into a heart and did the exact same thing just with no Santa? It would just be the ribbon. I think that would look a lot better. It would be a heart with, you know, Santa in the middle of it and then I could put it on my front porch game. But yeah, you guys, I just really wanted to share those $1 ornaments with you and show you guys the two DIYs that I just did. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.